The Super Smash Bros. series is a celebration of all things gaming, from having a ton of Nintendo characters to unexpected third-party characters. As Super Smash Bros. kept growing as a franchise, indie games kept growing as a thing. So it's a shame that there wasn't indie representation in Smash until 2018 Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, with the inclusion of Shovel Knight as an assist trophy. Even though he's not a playable character, that was still a great reveal because indie representation was finally in Smash. In a way or another, giving us hope to finally see our favorite indie characters next to gaming legends such as Mario and Cloud. That hope grew with the announcement of more characters getting added to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as DLC. Then one after another more characters took the DLC slots, and none of them were indie characters. But in the presentation of the Force Fighter Pass, the unexpected happened. When Mr. Sakura was showing us the next batch of Mii Fighter costumes, the screen faded to a pitch black. Then, while it faded back, an extremely known song started to play. The song known as Megalovania. As soon as everyone realized what song we were listening to, the screen finished fading back, revealing that the very requested indie character, Sans, made it into Smash. S sorta. Sans was revealed as a different Mii costume, one where it looked like you were playing as Sans, but you were actually playing as Mii Gunner thus giving more hope to everyone who wanted indie characters in Smash. A year later, the Final Fighter Pass character was revealed, and to everyone's surprise, it was another Fire Emblem character. The fanbase was disappointed, and most of them, very very angry, though most of them didn't really care about the presentation of Byleth, and kept looking forward for another surprise as a form of a Mii costume, or the reveal of the next DLC fighter. And so, after a few minutes of a history lesson, and after the moveset overview of Byleth, in a similar way of Sans reveal, the screen faded to pitch black and another familiar song started playing. This time the song was Floral Fury. As the storybook opens, we see the real exciting reveal of the stream. That being the inclusion of another indie character, this time being the retro-inspired run and gun character Cuphead. And so the angry fans forgot about Byleth for a few seconds and felt a quick change of mood from disappointment to excitement. I, on the other hand, felt another thing. I felt a pattern. Since the rule of sand, we've been getting indie representation as Mii Fighters. So what if for the next six fighters, we get six new indie Mii costumes, each with a song to represent them? So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be showing my list of what indie character might get into Smash as a Mii costume. Madeline. Madeline is the main character of the indie game Celeste. I love this game. It's so relaxing yet challenging. This indie holds a special place in my heart for being one of the first indie games I fell in love with after Undertale. Madeline will be a costume for me brawler and the headpiece will be her messy orange hair while the outfit is well her outfit. She'll also bring with her a remix of the song First Steps, the one you've been hearing in the background. This is the only Mii costume that I'd be okay with as a Mii costume instead of an actual fighter. Cause let's be honest, what will Madeline's moveset be like? Hat Kid Hat Kid is the protagonist of the cutest 3D platformer I had in time. Even though I haven't played it, and trust me, I plan on changing that soon, I've heard good things about it. And it seems like a fun time. This is possibly the best Kickstarter game out there. And I guess that numbers show, because it's reached double of its initial goal within 2 days. And ever since, it has sold over 1 million copies. She'd be a costume for Mii Sword Fighter using her umbrella as a sword, or without the umbrella being a Mii Brawler. The headgear will be her head. Um, hat kid, are you okay? Oh, and the outfit will be the rest of her body. She'll bring over a remix of Your Contract Has Expired. Raymu. Literally who is something a lot of people will say when she gets revealed. Well, this who is none other than Raymu. Still wondering who she is? Well, she is the main protagonist of the Toho series. Her job is to manage troublesome Jokai and is the shrine maiden of the Haruke shrine. 
What is Toho, you ask? Well, Toho is a bullet hell shooter game mainly popular in Japan. Its first game was made all the way back in 1997 and has had a total of 22 games, the latest one being released on August 2019. Freddy Fazbear. Ugh. I think we all know who I'm talking about here. The mascot of Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria should be a me gunner costume because FNAF is possibly one of the biggest mobile indie games out there. I personally never liked FNAF, but just for the reason that it's been such a big indie game that I even made it onto the Switch, the game deserves to be represented in Smash at some way. Also, it is very likely that he got a lot of votes in the official Smash 4 ballot. Oh, and his gun is a reference to the Space Freddy from FNAF World. So, he will bring a remix of some game, but FNAF doesn't really have official news. So, for this one, I looked up on YouTube and found a song called Scott's Theme. So, I guess that should be the song. The night. If this happens, I'll cry. I want the night to be an actual fighter, but noting the small trend, it's probably inevitable. For those who don't know about Hollow Knight, the game is a Metroidvania that takes place in a bug kingdom. I own the game and I've played a bit of it, but since I really don't like the genre of Metroidvanias, I kinda gave up. The game Hollow Knight has been rightfully praised to the extent of even being called a masterpiece of gaming. Certainly art, worthy of being on a museum. The game has sold over 2.8 million copies and that's the last report of it, so I'm betting it has sold way more since. Then I will be a me Sword Fighter costume, I don't know what his track will be, for the exact same problem I had with Freemo. So many great songs, but I don't know which one to pick. Maybe the song Radiance, but that's kind of a spoiler, so maybe Truth Bearing Hatred? I I'd lean more towards truth bearing hatred because I can see the reveal trailer by just listening to it but I don't know the importance of it so you know maybe it can be a completely different song honorable mentions there are some three quick mentions, maybe a me costume of Ori and the Blind Forest, or representation of Dead Cells, or maybe one of Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Maybe one of Monica, just Monica, just Monica, just Monica, snip or clip. This pair are the first in games to be on the Switch way back when you could only play Breath of the Wild and a few other titles. This game got big, even to the point of already being represented in Smash with a song. A me costume with them will be impossible to make I believe, but I just wanted to mention them too. Snake from Snake Pass. This is another me fighter costume I don't expect seeing at all, because like Snip and Clip, how will it work? Again, I decided to mention him because Snake Pass was one of the first indie games to be on the Switch, and that's all I had to say about him. He would bring a mashup of the title theme and Boulder's Realm. Bard. This little kind bard is trying to stop the end of the world in the game Wonder Song. This is probably my favorite indie game of all time and has been one of the only video games that have made me cry like a little bitch at the end. I love its characters, its humor, and the story. So do yourself a favor and give this game a shot. You will not be disappointed. Just don't hop in expecting lots of action. And that's exactly why Bard isn't in the main list. He's a peaceful guy. He would be a me fighter costume and he would bring a beautiful remix of The Wonder Song. Ricky, I'll save you! Stay down! 
Kill this guy's <laughs> Get over here! Lucky. The little fox protagonist of Lucky's Tale. Even though the game originally started as an Xbox game, it eventually got reimagined for the Switch, making a definitive version of Super Lucky's Tale, calling it New Super Lucky's Tale, a Nintendo Switch exclusive. I like the character and the game. He'd be a meek fighter costume, and he'll bring a remix of Three Cannons Alone, or maybe one of the main theme. Isaac. The protagonist of The Binding of Isaac. This game was made by the creator of Meat Boy, and this is a Zelda inspired top down dungeon crawler game, where the story is inspired by the bubble story under the same name. This game should be represented in Smash because of its history with Nintendo, where they even started working with Nintendo in 2012, only for it to begin to back out of the deal for its re religious theming. Isaac will be a Mii Gunner or Brawler costume and it'll come with a remix of the basement theme. Meat Boy The protagonist of the Meat Boy series should be represented in Smash because Super Meat Boy won several awards and has been cited to be one of the greatest video games of all time. So why aren't they celebrating quote unquote one of the greatest video games of all time? The only reason he's not on my main list is because he would be a Mii Fighter hat. Anyways, here we'll bring a medley of all the boss's themes. Crazy Dave. Your crazy neighbor from the popular mobile game Plants vs Zombies might seem crazy, but that saucepan on his head is actually hiding his genius. Although he might be crazy, he is an engineering mastermind. To the point of even surviving a zombie apocalypse thanks to the sentient plants he himself modified. He will be a Mii Gunner costume using a pea shooter as a gun, and he will bring a medley of the first Plants vs Zombies game. Cadence she was originally on my list, but then I removed her because I needed 6 Mii Fighters, not 7. Cadence is the protagonist of the rhythm game, um, I mean dungeon game, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Not just that, but she was also the first indie character to have a proper crossover with a Nintendo series. Cadence of Hyrule. She'd be a costume for Mii Sword Fighter using her shovel as a sword, and she would bring the song Mauselu Mash. Chante. This half genie hero with incredible dancing skills is a character that should be in Smash, but most likely won't make it as a Mii Fighter because she's already a spirit. And yes, I know that spirits don't deconfirm anything, but I still had to remove her from my list. She will come with her remix of Nance Through the Danger. Shovel Knight, the main character of the series under the same name. I didn't put him on my main list because he's already an assist trophy. He will be a costume for Me Sword Fighter and will bring a remix of Strike the Earth. Quote the, the protagonist of the popular 2004 indie game. Cave Story. He will be a Mii Gunner costume and will bring a remix of its title theme. He deserves to be represented in Smash because Cave Story also holds history with Nintendo, being playable on the Nintendo DSi, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo 3DS, and now on the Nintendo Switch. Steve! He's the Black Slate character from Minecraft. Even though it probably won't happen, he might get in. I'd rather have him as an actual fighter, but I'm pretty sure he'd be a me sword fighter costume. If you're wondering why he should be represented, 
Well, Minecraft is the best selling game of not just the past decade, but of all time. Being the one game to bring every gamer together, ending the console wars, maybe. His Mii Fighter costume would be a blockhead and block body, and he would use a Minecraft diamond sword. I've played Minecraft before it was cool and even before it was uncool. And I still play Minecraft from time to time, and still have a blast. That's why I'd be a bit disappointed if he is not more than just a Mii Fighter. Even though, that's my expectation. The remix he will bring is one of Sweden, or any other Minecraft song. And those are the indie me fighter costumes that I expect to see. Even though those are characters I expect to see, it doesn't mean that I want them as me fighters because I want most of them to be acro fighters. Or some to just not be in Smash even though they kinda of deserve it. But I'm pretty sure that's the fate most of them will have in Ultimate. Maybe one will make it into the next Smash game. Or if we're lucky, one might actually make it into the second fighter pass. So what other me fighter costumes do you expect to see? Let me know in the comments. Also, do you agree with my list, or is there a character I should remove? Also let me know. If you enjoyed this video, support my channel by hitting that like button, and consider subscribing for more weekly content. Also, check out this recommended video for you, or check out this playlist with more Smash content, this time being in the form of moveset ideas, with characters that will definitely never be in Smash. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day!